New information tonight about the crash that killed a UNC student and led to charges against three football players and many others. WREL received a document today that explains what happened immediately after that crash back in January. WREL investigates Sarah Kruger reports on what new details she uncovered today. We now have the investigative report from the state medical examiner's office. I got it through a public records request. It says the student who died, Molly Rotunda, was pulled from the backseat of the car by the bystanders who were traveling behind the vehicle before it crashed. WREL has reported that Rotunda was a passenger in the car, driven, police say, by fellow UNC student Flamija Brewer. A crash report shows the car was going as fast as 124 miles per hour, closely followed, according to court documents, by a car driven by UNC football player Zach Rice. It's not clear if Rice is among those who pulled Rotunda from the car after it crashed and flipped over. The new report from the medical examiner explains Rotunda was found with a UNC football bracelet on her wrist and that she went into cardiac arrest while in the ambulance. She was pronounced dead a short time later. It goes on to say that the other passengers in the vehicle reported all of them drinking alcohol at a club prior to the accident. As we've reported, 10 people, including six UNC students, are facing charges stemming from the investigation into Rotunda's death. Many of those charges involve underage drinking. Sarah Kruger, WRAL News.